So a while ago, I did a short comparing the 407k and the 507k from Holosun. And I don't think I did it justice. Uh, I missed some big things about it. I figured I would do an actual comparison and show you the real differences between the optics. In terms of the actual build footprint design and everything, they're identical. They are the same. Same footprint, same notch for the rear sights, same battery, same, same. In fact, they probably come off the same line and then just go down two different tracks for different reticles and different paint. So what are the actual differences? Well, this is a P322. It has the 407 on it. This is a 6MOA red dot. That is the reticle you get. That is all. This is the 507K on a P365 X macro. It has three reticle options that you can cycle through with a 2MOA dot and a 32 MOA ring. So that really brings up more questions than answers. Well, which one should I get? If you're someone who likes the ring, great. First, I'll just show what each one looks like at full blast. Uh, the brightest it can go pointed at the same target from the same distance. The, the reason the 407 doesn't get that ring around it isn't because they were wanting to be cheap or something. It's because a 6MOA dot is so big and so blown out, they can't fit a 32 MO ring, MOA ring around it because it would just be a giant 32 MOA red dot. Versus the 2 MOA dot, that is much more manageable, even at full blast, to have a 32 MOA ring around it. You can very visibly see the difference. In terms of price, you you very much are paying for the reticle. That's it. The 407 is $258.81, according to the Holosun website right now. The 507 is $341.16. If you're wondering why it's weird random numbers, it's conversion into USD. That's why. Because these are made in China. Holosun is a Chinese company. Figured I'd share that in case you're opposed to that. But here's the thing, most optics are not made in the United States. Not saying all, there are plenty that are. Was that $80? $80 difference to get this versus this, simply to have different reticles. So I guess that begs the question, why get one over the other? Either a 6 MOA dot or a 2 MOA with the option of doing a, th a 32 MOA ring. Some people say, you know, I don't see the need to have a 2 MOA or a 3 MOA dot or to pay for it for that type of money. Chances are I'm using this thing within 7 to 15 yards. Not a big deal that the dot is a little bit bigger. I'm not trying to be a marksman. I'm not trying to be a sniper. I'm not trying to hit something for every way, whatever. All right, fair point. Very valid. If you consider all of your options and you think that that is the only thing you would ever really need, great. Um, I think more of a reason would be the budget. Maybe you don't have $350 to spend on something that's identical with a different reticle. So maybe you go for about 260 to get this one and you get a good quality dot. Um, I'm not saying it's a bad dot. I have one. This thing, this is a nine mil. This is a X macro. I do want a two MOA dot. In fact, I don't use the ring. Uh, I might give it a shot again, maybe. I try to come back and retry things, but I just have it on the dot, period. The reason I do that is because it's not guaranteed that you might need your gun within 10 to 15 yards. You might need to reach out farther. And I wanna be able to make sure I'm putting my dot and being accurate and more precise at distance. I do train to what I think this can do. I can very consistently and accurately hit 40 yard shots with a nine mil out of an X macro. Do I hit every shot? No, this isn't even the configuration I, I run. This one is, and there's a reason I swapped these that I'll get to after this comparison for a 
well, maybe think about it option. If you don't agree with that and you don't think you need that, great. Or maybe you just wanna get really good at seeing if you can get a little farther with your 6MOA dot. Great, I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm not saying that's wrong. You do you. This is what I would prefer, it's my preference. With that being said, and all of the things I've put up on the screen, I will also show B-roll of this. This is the slide that I carry every day. These are open reflex optics. What that means is the actual emitter is exposed. There's one pane of glass, lint, pocket dust, and everything can get in there. You need to clean it out every once in a while. You can still see through it. It's still okay. You can still hit your target. The times you're gonna be more affected is the lower light situation. I will throw this one up on screen. This has been fully cleaned as best as I can. And I will compare it to my other 507 that does not get carried every day. That is due to me carrying it and debris and lint getting into that emitter. That is coming from the emitter. All the blown out stuff on the outsides is from the emitter. I cannot clean that anymore. That's it, it's done. So that's why things like the EPS and the EPS carry have been so popular recently is because it's an enclosed optic. If you get the one with the dot and the circle, you can flip through them like with the 507. However, this is already 340 bucks. According to Hollow Sun's website, right now I have it pulled up, the EPS Carry Red 2. So a 2 MOA dot is $388.22. The big difference with that is in closed optics like that, you have to have an adapter plate that sits on the slide and then the optic sits on the plate. So it's an extra screw or two that you need to take care of and make sure that it's torqued all the way down, loctited, thread lockered, whatever. But the emitter's enclosed. You don't have to worry about getting dust in there. You can just clean off the lenses on the outside if they get messy. I'm very much considering going that route and I just wanted to throw that little twist in there, but it does cost extra. Enclosed does cost more. More options cost more but it could be worth it because at this point, the optic I carry every day, that's already pretty bad and that's fully cleaned. It was pretty bad beforehand and it's all linty, lint gets all over it and crap, it happens. It could be a great option to get an enclosed optic, especially for the one you're carrying every day. So that being said, I hope you found this helpful. I hope this was better than that short. If you came from that short, I'm sorry that I didn't make this sooner. There you go. Hopefully someone finds this helpful.